So I get a phone call one night, I look down, it's Kyle. And I always know if Kyle's calling, it's gonna be something fun because Kyle is always down to get stuff done. I've done business with Kyle, I've done a couple projects, and he's just a, he's just one of those guys. There's certain people when they call, if I see their name on the phone, I don't care what's going on, I'm gonna answer because I know it's gonna be rowdy, it's gonna be punk rock, and there's gonna maybe be some business and maybe make some money. And if not money, there's, it's gonna be opportunities, uh, which to me is even better than money because opportunities lead to, that's what leads to money is opportunity, which is why I think this conference is fantastic. He said, I want you to host it. And I was like, oh, yes, I would love to do that. Like, I would, I would love to host this. He goes, I, I, I want you to be the MC. I want you to kind of guide the whole, he's like, I love the way you communicate with people and talk with these people. Uh, he's like, I think you'd really bring it alive. And, and that's when I started really getting an understanding of what Kyle was doing with Workspace. It was gonna be different than just a conference with a bunch of speakers. It was gonna be the kind of environment where you were interacting, you were having connections with the speakers, that there would be events and opportunities to actually spend real time with the speakers, asking questions, getting feedback. And so what Kyle was describing to me was something that I'd always wanted to do, had never pulled the trigger on, and I was like, anything I can do to be a you know part of this, Kyle, I'm 100% in, and I wanna help guide what I think is going to be the event. When I think about this event and this lineup, I always think of everything I do in terms of my background. And my background um, was working with bands, punk bands, rock bands, metal bands. What and so, I mean, Blink-182, uh, Shinedown, Jason Mraz, Van Morrison, Colby Calais, Uncle Cracker, um, Kid Rock. I mean, I stopped counting my music videos at probably a thousand music videos. I stopped counting, you know. Um, but then that evolved into feature films, independent movies, commercials, um, branded campaigns, photography, which eventually led to then me having a, a creative agency and really focusing on brand communication, um, social media. What does that look like? I'm 100% convinced, which is what I'll be talking about and kind of wrapping in you know, to everybody, um, that if you're not communicating, you don't exist. It is, it is impossible to sell something. It is impossible to sell anything in this world, whether it be a shoe line, whether it be a service, HVAC service company, whether it be accounting services, whether it be um, firearms, a, an online course. You cannot sell anything unless you get somebody's attention. And everybody's attention is here as of today. Prior to this, television, radio, newspaper, you know, print, billboards, that was it, you know. If, if you were there, you existed. Now, if you're not here, you don't exist. Every single brand today, no matter what you're involved in, will be built on social, okay? Um, and so for me, it's taking all that experience and really applying that to, you know, business. So once he started putting the lineup together, I was like, this is an all-star event lineup. And I know everybody. So I think I can guide the event with the exception of Pastor um, Jeffrey. I know everybody. So I'm excited to go and actually learn from Pastor Jeffrey, you know. Um, so for me, that will be fresh, you know. So I can't speak to Pastor Jeffrey, but that's what a conference should be. There should be people there that you don't know and you want to hear from, right? So I can't wait to hear. Uh, what his thoughts are going to be in regards to work, in regards to our faith, and kind of just how all this ties together. Um, C.R. Wiley is going to be there. Um, I know C.R. Wiley. His work just in regards to what does our work look like? You know, what does our work look like in regards to being grounded into the, the physical, real world? You know, C.R. Wiley does talks about, has written and talked about a lot of other stuff, but when he talks about that, when he talks about how the kind of the world God has created and how that really gets brought to our homes and who we are as people. Here's a guy that's also running businesses and he's got his hands in properties and rental businesses and I've watched and listened to things he talks about and the insights that he brings to the kind of real nitty gritty of like how do you fix up a place, how do you sell it, how do you rent it, you know. 
Um, how does that work in regards to how do you make a profit when you've got to cover X, Y, and Z, and you're going to have repairs and all those things? And again, I love that this is a this is a this is a real person of God, a real person of faith, um, a pastor as well, um, who also deals in the real world of commerce. So I, I can't wait to hear um, him him talk. Andrew Krapischetz, I've known now for over a decade, and him coming to this conference and really Red Balloon being a part of this conference as the main sponsor is, um, I, I just think it's huge. But again, it comes, it, this is about alignment. And what I love about what Red Balloon is doing and what Andrew has started is the actual real workings of, okay, well, how do you do that? How do you find people? How do you align the right businesses with the right people, with the right worldview and keep them and build that network? So for him to be able to come to this conference and talk about that and then share what he's learned from Red Balloon, from this experience, I can't wait to see what, you know, and hear what Andrew's gonna talk about. And he's also one of the funniest people like on the planet. But when he gets in the zone, man, he is just, I mean, he is, he's a savage, you know, so I, I can't wait to hear Andrew. David Reese, who I've just gotten to know recently, this dude's different. David Reese is different. He's incredibly impressive. Not that the other guys aren't, but I didn't really have, I didn't know much about David Reese and so spending time with him, specifically with Armored Republic um, and what he's doing there with that business, I got to see somebody who is coming at things completely different because he's just wired different. He's just a different kind of dude and he's intense and he's funny and he's interested and interesting. And those kinds of people, to me, I get like, okay, I wanna learn more from you. How do you view the world? What are you doing? That brings us to David Bonson, uh, who I really think is, is the heavy hitter of, of this conference. David Bonson coming, not just bringing the fact that he's managing three, four, five billion dollars now in money management assets and all this stuff, which is only going to go up. I think he's changing the game completely in regards to money management um, and wealth management. But his ability to talk about this subject with such precision and confidence, it is the kind of thing where it makes you a believer. It changes you. Some people have the ability to speak and they, and they could be saying the same thing as someone else said, but because they say it with this conviction, this like lived truth that they, you just kind of go, Oh, I want some of that. And that's what David Bonson brings. For me to be able to come and host and really be the MC of, of the Workspace Conference, I'm not gonna let these guys off the hook. I want questions answered. I want everyone in the audience to be able to not just hear a talk, I'm gonna press these guys. I'm gonna push them, no, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. I'm gonna push these guys to have to answer questions so that everybody that comes to this event gets the value out of this event. I think the Workspace Conference, this is, this is a new moment sort of in this space. And I'm pumped to be a part of it. And if you're watching this and you're listening, I want you to be there. I want you to be a part of this event because I think the number one thing is it's boutique enough to where you really are gonna be able to make relationships, meet people, it's gonna be good for business, it's gonna be good for your soul. Um, so yeah, I'm obviously incredibly fired up to be a part of the Workspace Conference. I'm Darren Doan and I wanna see you at the Workspace Conference, Dallas Fort Worth, this summer. Let's get after it.